हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू दी सेशन ऑन नंबर थ्योरी वी वर डिस्कसिंग डिविजिबिलिटी इन द प्रीवियस सेशन वी अंडरस्टूड व्हाट डिविजिबिलिटी बेसिकली मेंट हाउ इज डिविजिबिलिटी डिफाइंड नाउ इन दिस पर्टिकुलर सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू टेक अप सम थ्योरम सम प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ डिविजिबिलिटी सो लेट्स स्टार्ट ओके सो हियर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन द फर्स्ट थ्योरम रिलेटेड टू divisibility now it has some sub parts what are they first one is this that if a divides b okay if a divides b uh, then then it means or it implies it implies what does it imply it implies that a also divides bc for some integer c okay if a divides b now in all of these we were we are going to assume that a b c all are integers all are integers so keep that in your mind a b c everything which we are going to discuss here will be related to integers only so any other constant or any other variable also if you are taking up all of them are integers right so if a divides b c for some integer c so let's take first and um uh, Uh, first uh, let's understand by an example and then we will try to prove this as well so example so clearly if you take this example that 3 divides 8 no 3 divides let's say 24 3 divides 24 so 3 also divides 24 into 2 correct that is 3 divides 48 3 divides 48 isn't it so which is true we can check another one 15 divides 45 So fifteen also divides forty-five times four, which is one eighty, right? So fifteen does divide one eighty. So this is all, uh, you know, this is kind of true. Okay, now let's try to prove this. How to prove this? So a divides b. By definition of our uh, divisibility, we can say that there exists an x such that b is equal to a x for again some integer. x friends okay b is equal to ax some integer x now uh, i can multiply both sides by c right so if i'm multiplying multiplying both sides multiplying 1 let us say this is 1 multiplying 1 by c what will you get you will get bc is equal to axc isn't it which i can write as a times x c now x c this thing happens to be an integer right itself is an integer x c is in itself in its integer why x was integer c was integer so product of two integers will anyways be an integer so from this statement we get b c is equal to a times x c right that means by the definition of divisibility a does divide b c this is property or you know the sub part 1 of the theorem right let's go to second property second property says or second sub part says that if a divides b if if a divides b and b divides c okay so if a divides b and b divides c then a divides c then a divides c let's take first an example so let's say 5 divides 25 and 25 divides 125 isn't it that means 5 does divide 125 holds true so let's take another example another example could be 7 divides 21 and 21 divides 84 21 times 4 is 84 this clearly means 7 divides 84 it does hold let's try to prove this and prove is again very very easier how to prove that so if a divides b so we can say b is equal to ax and b divides c so c can be written as by where x and y are integers x and y are integers then what can i not club them together replace uh, you know uh, b here in the second equation so let's say this is first let's say this is second so in the second equation 
into from 2 and 1 or from 1 and 2 can I not say what can I say c is equal to b times now b can be written as ax times y right so c is equal to ax times y so this can be written as c is equal to a x y correct so that means again from the basic definition of divisibility we have an integer which when multiplied by a gets you c so we can say a divides c so proved now let us take the third sub part or third property okay what does it say it says if a divides b and a divides c okay then a divides mb plus nc what is m <clears throat> what is m and n m and n are also m and n are integers how do we prove this so or before proving let's take an example and understand whether this is really true example so let's take an example let's say 3 divides 21 right 3 times 7 is 21 and 5 divides let's say 15 right and let's say m is equal to 2 and n is equal to 3 okay so 2 times 21 m m b is this if you notice this is our b this is our a sorry this is c this one's a this one's a correct so 2 times 21 plus 3 times 15 let's find the sum this is 42 and this is 45 isn't it so the total sum is 87 right and clearly 3 divides 87 right so hence a divides mb plus nc this is validated validated right now let's try to prove it how do we prove it simple again the way we prove the other ones so by the definition we can say b is equal to a x and c is equal to a y again x and y are integers x and y are integers so that goes without saying right so then now let's multiply both sides by mb so can i not say mb is equal to m times ax and nc is equal to n times ay and let's add the two equations lhs to lhs rhs to rhs so you'll get a will be common and this will be mx plus ny that means a again divides mb plus nc why because if you see this item here mx plus ny this is an integer isn't it so this is also proved okay let's go to the next one what is the next one guys next one says fourth one that if a divides b and b divides a then the only possibility is a is equal to plus or minus b okay yep makes sense so three divides you know so uh, you don't need to take any example to see this so three either divides three or three divides minus three okay so in this case a is either equal to b or a is equal to minus b all right okay so how do we prove it let's prove this proof again by definition very very easy b is equal to ax and a is equal to by again x and y are integers is it if that is so guys can i not multiply both the equations together so you'll get b times a is equal to ax times by isn't it that means a b in the lhs is equal to a b x y since a and b are not zero because you know in this case a neither a can be zero nor b can be zero why because division by zero is not allowed so in that case what will happen you can just cancel a b from both sides so you'll get x y is equal to one right now x y x and y were integers guys integers right and the product of two integer is a positive quantity that means both x and y are greater than zero that is they are positive or both of them are sorry both of them are less than zero together less than zero together correct isn't it and 
and the product is also one so product of two integers product of two integers is one when is that possible the only possibility is either of them is one or them or either of them are negative one in 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 any other case it's not possible so hence we say that either x is equal to y is equal to one then you will get x y as one or x is equal to y is equal to minus one then also you'll get x y as one now in this case if let's say this is true then what will happen you can say clearly a will be equal to b why because a was equal to b y and y is one so a is equal to b a is equal to b and if this is true then what will happen a is equal to b y so b times minus one so hence a is minus b right so a is either plus b or minus b this is what we learned if a divides b as well as b divides a